Hello, thank you for joining us. I'm talking today to Nick, who is going to talk us through his vision for the future of agencies. And now, Nick, that's a big topic. Uh, do you want to give us a, a summary? So agencies have changed quite a lot over the last five years, let alone the last 20 years. So within the digital space, five, 10 years ago, we were very much project by project, platform by platform, um, and then channel stuff came along. Um, and agencies kind of evolved, and then you ended up with the integrated digital agency, which was a bit like a traditional digital agency, but it did all things that were digital. Now I think integrated's taken a new meaning where we are actually integrated into the business. And that's a result of digital becoming an always on phenomenon. So businesses no longer, even at the SME end, just have one project and then nothing for six months. They have project and then they have another project. And it might be data integrations, it might be uh, SI work, it might be customer experience, it might be a variety of different things, but there's always another project. And so agencies have had to respond to that and stop thinking projects, start thinking about delivery as an always on mechanism. Yes, and one of the ways that Sagittarius has responded to that is with our uh, BTRs or business transformation retainers. Uh, could you tell us a little about that? Yeah, so the BTR basically came from that from that issue. We had um, a couple of clients who were, we were looking at their backlogs and we were looking at their roadmaps that were coming from within the business and from parent companies. And the amount of work they had to do with their platform was phenomenal in terms of integrations, compliance, then things like GDPR came along, and then just customer experience, so improving search, offering more payment options and blockchain and all those kind of things. And we said, okay, let's stop worrying about the next project. Let's cut out some of the inefficiencies that traditional sort of agency approach would have had and look at a model where we can be truly agile. So we'll provide a skill set which can augment the client's skill set, and then they can work in a very agile way, either five day or 10 day sprints, working through business priorities, dealing with projects that way in a much more efficient fashion as a, as a single integrated unit. And ultimately what we're trying to achieve here is, is digital transformation. So could you just finish by telling us a little about uh, the, the process of digital transformation? So uh, digital transformation is a massive topic in its own right, but essentially we break it into three things, people, process, and tools, or people, process, and technology is another way of thinking of it. And people think digital transformation is about changing a website or changing a platform, and it's not. It's about much, much more than that. It's about the fact that businesses now want to pivot around the customer and focus on the customer experience, or they want to pivot around the product and think about the product experience. And therefore, digital transformation has to kind of help the business change from a position where things have been nicely siloed and requirements came in nice batches into web teams who worked on projects to something that's always on, always moving. So the BTR takes care of the people component of the, of the sort of the three-way relationship between people, process, and technology. It allows businesses to kind of keep everything moving, keep their projects moving, keep their workflows moving, and therefore continuously improve the customer experience or continue improve cost efficiencies or whatever it is they're trying to achieve. Fantastic. Thank you, Nick. And uh, thank you for watching. Remember, please like and subscribe, and we hope to see you for the next one.